traffic stop turned drug bust ends with officers saving one of the suspects' lives. Fort St. Lucie police say they were in the middle of arresting two people for possession of fentanyl and other narcotics found in the car when one of them started to overdose. Now, body camera footage exclusively given to CBS 12 News tonight shows officers on the ground administering CPR and multiple doses of Narcan to one of the suspects until he eventually regained consciousness. It happened in the parking lot of a McDonald's off Darwin Boulevard near Treasure Coast High School. That's where CBS 12's Katie Benty joins us tonight with more on how this all unfolded. Detectives say one of the suspects ingested fentanyl as soon as he realized they were being pulled over. It wasn't long before he was in handcuffs, and that's when officers say he started overdosing. They immediately dropped to the ground, uncuffed him, and started administering life-saving techniques until eventually he did regain consciousness. Now, fast forward tonight, him and the other suspect both sit behind bars. Stand by, second shot. Body camera video shows Port St. Lucie police detectives relentlessly yeah, administering right a man in Narcan, followed by CPR. I'll notify rescue, not cautious, not real. That man is 26 year old Palm Beach Gardens resident Marquise Allen. Late last month, Allen and 22 year old Port St. Lucie resident Lauren Levitt were pulled over near Treasure Coast High School for alleged traffic violations. Things took a quick turn after detectives say they noticed illegal narcotics inside. When they handcuffed the one passenger, the suspect, uh, he immediately told the detective he was not feeling well and needed um, an ambulance at the scene. So they immediately sat him down, unhandcuffed him. Uh, he went into basically cardiac arrest, stopped breathing. Stay with me, Marquise. Hey, Marquise. Stay with Marquise. me. While searching the car, detectives uncovered about 10 Xanax pills and nearly a dozen blue tablets made to look like oxycodone, but field tested positive for fentanyl. They also found a scale with fentanyl residue sitting next to roughly 40 grams of cocaine, along with a loaded handgun stuffed in a backpack with additional rounds in the trunk. According to the police report, Levitt tells detectives Allen swallowed one of the pills as soon as he realized they were being pulled over. He might have been using, you know, the marijuana and things like that. And who knows, he may be using fentanyl, but he definitely ingested this pill to try to hide the evidence. Marquise was given four doses of Narcan and continuous CPR until he regained consciousness. He was transported to a local hospital where he was stabilized and read his Miranda rights. The duo is being held at the St. Lucie County Jail with combined bonds totaling to more than $400,000. Reporting in Port St. Lucie, I'm Katie Benty, CBS 12 News. Well, deputies in our area, they warn that Narcan is often being used now as a backup plan for some drug addicts. They say that it's partly due to the availability of the over-the-counter drug. Deputies say taking Narcan as a safety net for fentanyl will lead to deaths that even Narcan can't prevent. You can read more about our coverage on Narcan by heading to our website at CBS12.com.